There is a lot of product out there. They are kosher, supposedly kosher. Food, yeah, and uh, let's say uh, imitation bacon, you know. Or shrimps, they taste like shrimps. They look like shrimps. They're not shrimps, but you know, made out of chemicals and all kinds. There's a lot of product like that. And uh, I've, I'm not comfortable to touch it, even though it's say, oh, you. What do you think about it? Is there anything wrong with e <laughs> is there anything wrong with eating food that's mimicking non-kosher food? It looks like non-kosher food. It tastes like non-kosher food, but the ingredients are kosher. Well, you're allowed to eat it. It's just a lot of people like you feel does we have so much food to eat and so much good kosher food to eat and so much food that all types have to have shrimp. Have to what do you have to have shrimp? You have to have bacon. What what do you need it for? It's just it's like. Uh, you, you don't have to, it's called a maneuver b'shul satora. There are certain laws that are permitted, but you don't have to take everything of this world and get the pleasure of everything that there is. I have to have every pleasure, everything. It's not, it's, not the, it's not the theme or the spirit of the law. It's not against the law, but it's not the spirit of the law. You don't have to, every type of thing, if it's non kosher thing, I have to taste it because it's non kosher. It's not kosher, forget about it. What do you need it for? So that's not the spirit of the law, but you can't say a person who's eating it is doing a, is not doing a sin. If he's eating it, it's kosher, but it's just not in the spirit of the law.